We begin with Ukraine's first lady, Elena Zelenska, set to address Congress a short time from now. She met with First Lady Jill Biden ahead of that speech, where she's expected to focus on the conflict's toll on women and children. Meanwhile, the White House says Russia is planning to officially annex parts of Ukraine occupied by Russian forces as it steps up attacks on civilian targets. ABC's Patrick Reeville joining us now once again from Kyiv, Ukraine for more on this. So let's start with First Lady Olena Zelenska addressing Congress here in our nation's capital today, Patrick. We heard in Ian, or our Ian panel actually reported that Zelensky says that she will talk about the need to recognize Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. Let's talk about how this will be received by Congress here and what else can we expect from her speech? Hi, Kerry. Yeah, I mean, we expect Elena Zelenska to begin addressing Congress within about an hour or so. I mean, she was already yesterday met with President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. Um, and I think, as you were saying, you know, one of the things people are watching is for this appeal for, um, for the U.S. to designate uh, Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. And I think there will be sympathy for that among many lawmakers because of the clear terror, you know, terror t tactics that Russia uses over here in terms of indiscriminate strikes with missiles against civilians. But at the same time, we know that within the Biden administration, there is hesitation about doing it because they believe it might be counterproductive because it potentially uh, could harm other countries more in terms of the sanctions that are imposed. It could also potentially even allow lawsuits in the U.S. that could chip away at some of the assets that have been frozen, um, that some Russian assets that have been frozen and that, would that could be given to Ukraine otherwise. So I think it's not at all given that this designation will come. Well, the Ukrainian military is saying that the U.S. weapons that our country has brought over there has helped the forces stabilize the front line in the eastern and southeastern parts of the country. And the Department of Defense now here announcing it's going to be sending four new uh, hammers along with ammunition from Ukraine. So let's talk about the significance of these added assets and how it will help with the war. Yes, as you say, the U.S., as I said, just announced today that it's supplying four more of these HIMAR rocket launchers. These are long-range rocket launchers that Ukraine has been using to pretty substantial effect. Basically, they've been targeting Russian ammunition depots out in eastern Ukraine, and that's key because by targeting the Russian logistics and ammunition, it means that Russia is losing its advantage in artillery, which has been crucial out in the east. Basically, Russia has around 7 to 1 in terms of artillery compared to Ukraine, and that has been allowing them just to grind forward, leveling uh, Ukrainian cities in the east as they come forward. And so the idea is that and Ukraine has been pleading for these sorts of weapons. Weapons. They now will have 16 of these long-range weapons, which are crucial as well to Ukraine trying to go on a counteroffensive later. The big question this summer that people are watching is whether Ukraine is going to be able to try and mount a counteroffensive in the south that would allow it to retake territory that's been occupied by Russia. And that obviously would show that perhaps it can reverse how this war has gone and regain its territory. And that would continue to encourage countries to provide support like that. All right, Patrick Riebel there for us in Kyiv. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.